I don't think I've gone shopping at Balenciaga in probably over the last three to five years now. Kind of interested to see what are the top most iconic bags for Balenciaga nowadays. Let's go shopping at Balenciaga. Hello everyone, welcome back to another mommy review where I review all things for love of. Today I'm checking out handbags, particularly shopping at Balenciaga. So thank you so much for joining me on the shopping journey and checking out some of the most iconic bags with this fashion house at Balenciaga. And like always, if you like the content on the channel, it will also mean so much to me if you consider giving this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for considering. And for those of you who are joining me on this journey and discovering handbags, to all the handbag lovers out there, thank you so much for your continual support. So on with the video. So today I want to go check out Balenciaga and go browsing at the store in particular, just checking out what are the most iconic bags with this fashion house. Now, after all, Balenciaga is pretty formidable. It's like a f Spanish luxury fashion house that's been around for so many years now. I think it's namesake brand was started in 1919 just a lot of really stunning unique designs um i think when i think of balenciaga i think of the word edgy um and i think it really describes some of the most iconic bags that are with this brand right now um just to start off some things that i'm learning is that balenciaga has their own language so first means the smallest size usually it's like really good for like night out city means medium size um, great for kind of like a work size up bag and then part-time means that it's like work in terms of um, the width uh, usually um, that's kind of the general language you may want to know about and when you see the word giant it refers to like the bags hardware not necessarily the bag itself so just something that I learned on the side here is the hourglass handbag the hourglass handbag is very unique with the curved shape and pointed corners. It looks really incredibly luxurious and sleek, I would say. It comes in so many materials and colors, so you know that it's a popular bag when it comes in so many different designs and selections to choose from. Um, I think that the aged gold hardware is beautiful. This one that's a remake with yellow tape is currently priced at $3,900 Canadian. I love the, how they're thinking outside the box and letting artists do kind of what they do best. So I love checking out how they have these alternate options, probably not something people will buy from day to day to use on a regular basis. But you can see for this hourglass bag in general, it does have the top handle and adjustable shoulder drop, which is can be removed so it makes it so versatile and you'll see that usually for all these bags they have the iconic b dangling from the front flap that's really unique and classic looking around there's a couple of other bags this is the crush chain bag it's currently priced at three thousand five hundred fifty dollars with kind of this wrinkle leather this other one is a downtown metallic shoulder bag with this beautiful very unique chain and they have this fabric lining on the top handle that makes it a little bit more comfortable for the wearer if you don't want to wear the giant chain it might be very uncomfortable rubbing against your shoulder here is still the downtown metallic shoulder bag we just want to show you the back pocket and how the different colors fare This is a downtown shoulder handbag. Downtown shoulder handbag is also one of the most iconic um, collection from Balenciaga with a strap that is adjustable. So in general, you're seeing the Balenciaga shapes are pretty um, general. Like there's this one, for example. This one's the La Cagol shoulder bag. And this one is a mini bag, 19. 50 Canadian and they have like other sizes and designs in general. I find that Balenciaga, the edgy bags, they have either this one that's really iconic or the hourglass bag that is kind of like the newer generation. They have some really cool colors and this one comes with a handy dandy card holder slash coin purse. Some really edgy co um, bowl colors and even denim that you can see here. 
I really enjoy browsing around and kind of learning for myself and seeing these handbags. Um, this one is priced at $2,800 and has the BB monogram denim on it. I feel like it's definitely a more casual bag, but not necessarily a casual price tag per se. But whatever bag you choose from Balenciaga, I think it does scream out like cheek and some of it is very sophisticated as well. This one is the Lindsay shoulder bag, currently priced at $2,400. You can see it has the change and also the leather strap, so you can wear it both ways. I think that's the trend I'm seeing for a lot of handbags nowadays, like giving you multiple ways to wear it. This one, you can see the top handle with the roll, single rolled handle. And this one is the hourglass handbag with rhinestone. I don't know how it will fare over time, but it does look really gorgeous. I'm sure it will sparkle quite a bit at night. You can see the croc leather in different colors. See the bottom doesn't actually have feet, so I wonder how the corners will wear over time. But it does sit upright on the table when you rest it, so it doesn't really flop around. I love how rigid the um, and box structured the bag is, so it'll keep its shape over time and won't sag as much. And there's the interior with the zipper pocket as well as extra strap. It has a magnetic closure. And then the exterior back pocket as well, but I think the design is doesn't necessarily scream the brand itself which i like how it's just minimalistic with just the b dangling in the front so yeah i hope you're enjoying the shopping trip with balenciaga so far uh, i would love to know from you guys if there is a specific iconic bag that you think is the landmark of balenciaga that when you see it you think of it is it the hourglass one or is it the Laco the cago shoulder bag or maybe the city toe i feel like there are so many bags of balenciaga that's very edgy but in some ways like i didn't actually know in the beginning that the hourglass bag from balenciaga also belongs to the same family as like the city toe or the la cago shoulder bag i find that they're very they're very different in style one is like more sophisticated the ones other ones more casual so i never related to the fact that they belong to the same fashion house so i love how versatile the brand is with flipping between like completely different bag designs and giving many options out there for people who are checking it out this is crush small chain bag and quilt you can see that the chain is easily adjustable so that it can go from shoulder to crossbody i do find that the magnetic closure is very strong if that's something you're worried about for bag security you will not have to worry about a balenciaga but i know some people don't like this kind of kind of wrinkly vintage look um in which case that's okay it looks like they have many different types of materials and colors to choose from i feel like balenciaga is a very um popular brand but specifically like in the early 2000s um it's more like a street style wear when i first thought of it like more of a motorcycle bag um but over the years they've come out with quite a few new styles for example like this one is the Neo Cargo Extra Small handbag priced at $2,950 Canadian and you can see there's the um, the tag for the shoulder make it a little bit more comfortable but it looks really edgy it reminds me like very motorcycle bag-ish really truly iconic of Balenciaga I would say throughout the decades and that's that's what i relate to when i think of balenciaga you can see there's no feet on this particular bag it is a little bit more slouchy because it's not as form as the hourglass bag i feel like it, there is not the bag is not apologetic for how many dangles and like hardware that they have is just out there and like you like it you like it if you don't you don't so what do you think about the Balenciaga bags? Is there one that has on your wish list? I'd love to know. 
just want to show you some of the flashy colors cool graffiti designs I know that mini bags are really popular nowadays and I feel like this mini bag in particular is actually quite roomy this is the mini bag from Balenciaga the Lacago one $2,150 Canadian of course there's different designs and different colors so they're all a little different in pricing but you can see it has the leather for the shoulder bag portion also a chain but yeah if you're looking for a mini bag that is a little bit roomy I think this might be down your aisle so that's it for today's mommy review i hope you enjoy the shopping trip to balenciaga and i'd love to see you in the next video take care and stay safe